one of the things I've been telling my patients is the importance of living a heart healthy life, not only beforehand, but certainly after the diagnosis of breast Keeps cancer. Keeps your microenvironment there alert. You there you go. So. Exercise is the best and the biggest cancer cure, wow. before and after. It's true. Yes. It does better, you know, if, if people who have colon cancer, if they had exercised before, they would have had 40% less chance of getting cancer. If you're not obese, you have a very much less chance of getting cancer, and especially breast cancer. Yes. So, it, you know, they ask me, a lot of young people ask me, Dr. Bissell, give us one advice, and I say to them, if I don't know how to tell you to run your lab, I don't know how to do this, but if I give you an advice, will you take it? Because it will help you do good science, stay in good shape. I am a lot older than people usually realize. Mm -hmm. I have a 48-year-old daughter. Mm -hmm. I have four grandchildren. Uh -huh. I have a big lab, and I still have a lot of energy because I, I, eat, yeah. I eat well, yes. and I exercise. Okay. And I am going to say something controversial that a lot of doctors don't like to hear. It is not estrogen that is the culprit. It is progesterone. No, no, that one. And, I, I'm and that they, one I'm when people equate hormone therapy with estrogen therapy, they're wrong. No, you I need agree. estrogen for your skin. You need estrogen for your microenvironment. You right, need estrogen right. for your brain you don't function. Need the progesterone, you don't, don't need the progesterone. And unfortunately, if you don't take it and you have your uterus, you could have a little trouble 20 years later. But meanwhile, you're doing fine. Okay. So well, this is uh, the short and long of it. All and, right. Well, very right. good. <laughs> Any other final thoughts as we wrap up here? Yes. I mean, uh, what I've just said about being heart healthy, any dietary things that you've learned? In well, you know, a lot, of, a lot of these things that people have said, like broccoli, this, that, right. green, dark, whatever, right. it's all true. Yeah. And uh, the, the only problem is that people don't want to take responsibility for their additional uh, causes of breast cancer, right. and they really should. Yeah. And uh, this view of cancer that I have is a hopeful view of cancer, and we have shown it. We can take malignant cells and make them normal uh -huh. in a three-dimensional assay, uh -huh. and if we inject those cells into the animal, they don't make tumor. Wow. Okay? In a real human cancer cell. So. Oh, okay. All right. All right. Well, don't it's, jump. No, don't no. jump up uh, quite yet. All right. So I want to reach out and congratulate you. Thank you. All right. Your energy is boundless. Thank you. Thank you for all the hard work that you're doing and thank all the you. contributions that you've made. It's a pleasure. And thank you for being here with us today. Sure. Okay.